Hey yo, what's up, man? That's the ninth episode of University of Flame. And if you're watching it right now, then get up and work together with our accountant. Раз и два, три. Держитесь. Четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Медленный подъем. University of Flame, we rock. It's a usual great day today, but it's a historic day for us. Because it's the first time we're going to be logical and reasonable, and in University of Flame today, you're going to know about University of Flame. The Kazan 2013 Summer University Torch Relay promises to be the largest in FISU history. The University of Torch Relay will be arranged in three stages. The first one is a round-the-world trip on board the four-mast bark Sedov, which traveled around five continents and covered the estimated distance of 100,000 kilometers by sea. The second leg of the University of Touch Relay will start in 2013, and the flame will be carried through Russia's 27 top university centers. And the final stage will cover 44 areas of the Tatarstan Republic, thus ending on the 6th of July in Kazan, a capital of the 27th World Summer University at Games. And finally, by popular request of one good person, we are interviewing this one good person today. Please welcome Valentin Shahabalov, main specialist of the University at Touch Relay Department. Valentin, the first question is, where were you staying 36 hours ago? I was visiting Krasnoyarsk city, where the fourth stage of the University at Touch Relay had finished. That was awesome, because all the city was welcoming the University at Touch. That was cool. And of course, Valentin hasn't come empty-handed today, and you guys can see him holding the major attribute of the university games. This is the University of Torch. Tell us something about it. For example, how much does it weigh? Yes, this is the major attribute of the relay. Its weight is around one and a half kilos. You can hold it for a while. It's not heavy at all. Each torch bearer is running a short distance, no longer than 300 meters, before passing the torch to the next torch bearer. And what's inside the torch? Is there a gas bottle? Yes, a gas bottle. The maximum burning time is 20 minutes. So after the first 10 minutes, the organizing committee starts being nervous and anxious. Have any surprises ever occurred? I've seen once during the Olympic torch relay one crazy guy just ran out and tried to take the torch away from the torch bearer. There are special people called torch keepers. They travel together with the relay all over the world, so they take care of the torch bearers and the torch itself. So you can always see one torch bearer who is running with the torch, surrounded by four torch keepers. Valentin, the worst thing that can happen during the relay is when the flame suddenly goes out. So what measures need to be taken to avoid it? The torch is used only when the relay reaches a city. And during the travel from one city to another, it is stored in a special vessel. So when the torch bearer is bearing the torch, a special vehicle with parent original flame vessel follows him. Okay, so as for our viewers, they will watch our episode and, for example, want to become torch bearers as well. Who will be chosen to become a torch bearer of Kazan University Games? Usually among the torch bearers are bright students with sports, academic or social achievements, Olympic and Universal champions, world and European champions as well. It's great to see the torch traveling around the cities, but when will we greet it here in Tatarstan? The torch will be brought from Ufa to Bavli on the 20th of June, and this will be a start of the relay. It will visit 44 areas in 16 days, and it will finish here in Kazan on the 6th of July, where the official torch ceremony will take place. And our last question, what are three sports you'd like to visit during University Games? I will definitely visit badminton, tennis for sure, and maybe... And here we stop. Try to guess what is his third sport he would like to visit, and if you do well, we will give you a special prize from Universiad and UniTV channel. Leave your answers right here, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, check the social networks, and keep warming around the University of Flame this spring. I'm Alex Chupin, we'll be right back.